Hi everybody, this is Sonia, and this is my Stitch With Me video. Um, I want to thank everybody so much for um, watching my first Stitch With Me video. Um, I appreciate it. I, re I appreciate all the comments. Um, they were very nice. Um, and I want to thank you for coming back um, to watch this video as well. Um, I did have a couple of um, questions that people, you know, wanted me to answer. So I think I'm going to do that today as I'm working on the rooster. Um, the rooster is a Dritz kit. I love the rooster. He's very, very colorful. Very fun stitch, the Dritz kits are. Um, so, um, settled back, um, you can stitch with me, knit with me, crochet with me, whatever you want to do, or just watch, um, grab some coffee, tea, whatever you would want to drink, and, um, just relax. Um, this is not going to be a long video again, I'm still trying to get myself accustomed to doing these. So, um, anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Um, the first thing that we're going to talk about is my rotation. Um, I only have three whips that I work on. And those three whips Um, keep me busy. I do not need to have any more than, than three whips. I tried and it just made me a nervous wreck. So how I do the three kits is, or my three whips, is I work on one whip every day. So for instance the rooster. I will work on the rooster Monday, Tuesday, and Tuesday. Then I will put the rooster away and I will work I will work on Mrs. Claus and I will work on her Wednesday and Thursday. Then I will put her away and I will work on Who's Watching Whom on Friday and Saturday. And I do have a fourth whip, but I only work on that one on Sundays. So that one is the Saturday Evening Post, the Halloween Tricks, and so that's when I work on that one. And I can get in usually three hours a day, maybe. That's on a good day. It's more like two. And that's off and on stitching because, you know, I've got other things that I have to get done. But anyway, yeah, that's how I do the rotation. Just each pro each project or each whip gets two days. Now the way my whip worked before was I did one whip one day like Monday. The next day I would do The next day I would do, um, like this would be Monday, 
Tuesday would be Mrs. Claus. Wednesday would be um, Who's Watching Whom. And then Thursday I would start over and do The Rooster and so forth. And then Sunday would be the Halloween tricks. So that's how I used to do it. But this is how I'm doing it now. I find it it's a lot better. I feel like I get more accomplished. I don't know that I really do. But it just makes me feel like I'm getting more accomplished doing it this way. So, that's that. And the other thing that I wanted to talk a little bit about was someone asked me about my crocheting. So, I just thought I'd give a little um, rundown on the crocheting. Um, I have been crocheting since I was about 9 or 10 and what happened was I had gotten sick with um, walking pneumonia so I was confined to the house for like three weeks until I was over it and I became extremely bored and my mom was trying to find something for me to do to keep myself entertained. And so she knew how to crochet, so she sat down and taught me to do the single crochet and the double crochet. So by the time the three weeks ended, I had made myself a scarf. I think it was double crochet. And I made a dishcloth or washcloth out of single crochet. So. I really enjoyed it, but then, of course, you know, being a child, you get back to school, and you know that kind of falls, that kind of falls by the wayside. So I didn't really pick it up again until I was probably in high school, and I got to where I really enjoyed crocheting. I made afghans and pillows and there was a lot of people at my church that were having babies and I would make a lot of you know baby gifts, booties. Sweaters or baby blankets and stuff like that for them. So it pretty well continued. And then when my um, babies were born, then I went ahead and, you know, I made baby blankets and stuff for them and booties and little sweaters and stuff like that. And then, and then as, you know, they got older and Life got a little bit more hectic. I kind of put it aside again. And didn't really pick it up much again until maybe the later 80s or 90s maybe. And then from there, I've pretty much been crocheting ever since. My favorite things to crochet, I really like to crochet afghans. That's my main, that's my main thing is the afghans. But, and then I like to make the arm, armigurumi animals. Those are the next things that I like to make. I really enjoy making those. So, and I have made beanies and, and hats and um, things like that. I just made a poncho. I'm working on a shawl that's a test pattern for somebody. So, I'm really enjoying it. I've made Christmas ornaments and things. 
So I really, really enjoy crocheting. But I think my passion is the cross stitch. I really, really enjoy the cross stitch. So um, you know, if you guys have any if you guys have any questions for me at all, it would really I do had you know, I do have another tag that I could do, but I wanted to try to do the second one by just without doing a tag. So, you know, if you guys have any um, questions of any kind, you know, I live on a sheep farm. So, you know, if you guys want to know about the farm, um, the animals that are on it, um, the sheep, um, I have chickens. I will be doing videos on the chickens. I do have chickens now. On my birds, my parakeets, um, just anything in general that you're curious about, you know, on then I can discuss it in my in the stitch with me videos. So yeah, or my other animals, my you know the pets, my cat. I have two dogs. Um, so yeah. I'm kind of, I got moved out here, and it's like I'm becoming a country girl now. You know, I don't think I really would have ever um, stitched like a rooster. Or, you know, I find the chicken patterns and all of these stuff really fun that, you know, I want to stitch them. They're fun. I like that kind of stuff now, where I didn't use to really care for that stuff. But now that I'm living out here and have a part of this kind of life style, I'm kind of getting interested in stitching these kind of things now. So... Anyway, um, I think that is going to be it for this time. I'm kind of ran out of things to say, so I just don't want to be jabbering on here. Um, but please, um, I hope that you enjoyed this, and please, um, if you have any kind of question, you know, please leave them in the comment section down below and I would love to be able to you know talk about um, whatever the questions may be um, I think on my next video I'm going to talk a little bit about my scrapbooking um, how I got started on that how why I wanted to start doing it um, and talk about some of the pages that or the layouts that I have done, so I might do that on my next um, Stitch With Me video. But I hope that um, you didn't find it boring tonight or anything like that. Um, like I said, I had a tag ready, but I thought I would try to just talk about some of these other things that I have talked about tonight instead. So let me know if it was okay um, the way I'm doing it or if you'd pref prefer me to do tags. There are a lot of tags out there that I could go on for months with the tags. So anyway, just let me know what you know you would like me to do in the Stitch With Me videos and I will 
you know, try to do it, make it happen for you guys. Um, so anyway, thanks so much for watching, for subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing my videos. I do appreciate it. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and to stitch with me. And I hope as time goes on that I can get these videos a little bit longer. So until my next Stitch With Me video, everybody have a great stitchy week.